I'm in lovely Ballin Robe in South Mayo here. And once upon a time, long ago, there was a man and he was struggling to make the rent. So he decided to come up here to Ballin Robe to uh, sell a load of bar barley and make a bit of money to be able to pay the rent. So uh, when he was on his way up here, he met a fairy. Now you'd think that was a bit strange, but uh, anyway, the fairy said, look, you can go into town and sell your barley there, or you can sell it to me and you'll get a better price than you get at the market. So the man didn't think twice about it. He said, yeah, sure, brilliant. Yeah, let's go with you. I'll, uh, I'll sell it to you, no bother. So off he went with his uh, horse and cart and the fairy led the way into his own ring fort. Now this place is surrounded, Ballinrobe is surrounded by ring forts, uh, fairy forts. Brought him into his fort. Now took his horse and cart out off, off him. And your man said, uh, right, well, can we get this business done now? And he said, no, you'll have to wait until the morning. And he said, well, I can't wait till the morning. I need to go home to my wife. She's waiting for me. Uh, so anyway, the fairies had a solution to this. They said, no, don't worry about it. Uh, we've a fella here that looks exactly like you. And surely enough, they had a doppelganger there. Somebody you could not tell the difference between them, this particular fairy. So the, this fairy man went home to his wife. And when he got home, the wife didn't know any better, but... After a couple of hours, didn't this man that was in the wife's house die? And uh, so he ended up, uh, she got, obviously she was bereaved, she was upset, couldn't figure out what had happened, how he ended up dying so suddenly. Um, but the next day, the fairies did their business with the man and they let him go. So he, off he went back home to his wife. And when he arrived home, she can imagine the fright she got. She said, I thought, you, I thought we buried you. And he said, no, you did not bury me. And he said, look, it, I'm off to pay the rent. It's all sorted now. So he went down to his landlord. Now, when the landlord saw him, he got the fright of his life. He thought he was buried too. And he got such a fright that he actually cleared his receipt for a rent for the rest of his life. And he never had to pay another day's rent ever again. The end.